Well, 75 years after he was killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor, the remains of a New Hampshire sailor were returned to his home state. It was a homecoming years in the making for his family, eager to see his return. A hero's return for a young man whose family thought he'd never get to his final resting place. We're so grateful and humbled to have him home. Yeah. Navy Fireman 3rd Class Edwin C. Hopkins was aboard the USS Oklahoma at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. One of 429 servicemen killed when the ship capsized after being hit by Japanese torpedoes. While the remains of 35 sailors were positively identified after the tragedy, Edwin's family would have seven decades of waiting, years that haunted his parents, according to his niece, Faye Bohr. My grandparents and my grandmother mourned him, had no idea where he was located or what happened to him, and I think that's really a hard thing for a parent to have to deal with over the years. Little did they know that the remains buried in an anonymous grave in Honolulu would one day be returned. It was science that ended the family's quest. DNA from Edwin's cousin proved to be the match that brought his remains to this Keene Cemetery. It's a day to celebrate. He's home with his parents. It's not a sad day, it's a happy day. For this 19-year-old who never got to return to his hometown in life, full military honors 75 years after his death. A final home next to those who missed him all this time. It was all about bringing him home and it's happened.